today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a stencil with vinyl. Um, I have this cool little wooden plank that I got. It's called Mix the Media. I got it at Walmart for $9.97. I'm going to be making a sign for my chicken coop outside. So I just recently got some chickens and when I hang the sign up, you guys will get to meet them. But um, in the meantime, I am trying to get my coop the way that I like it. And so I'm trying to make a little sign for it. And I've decided that my coop's gonna be called the Cackle Shack. So I made a sign in Photoshop and I designed it there and then I saved it as a JPEG and then I uploaded it to Cricut.com. And we're gonna go into Cricut and see how to cut the vinyl um, and I'm explain exactly how to do everything, how to apply it to the wood, how to paint it, everything step by step. So stay tuned. So what we're going to do here is open up Cricut.com and we are going to go to um, design space and I actually already created a file and it's called um, Coop Sign. So I'm just going to go open that up and then we will cut it inside of Cricut. So first I started with making a shape um, and this shape, I made it to be 10 inches by 10 inches. Um, it's just a perfect 10 inch square because the wooden sign is 10 inches. So I want to measure this square out and I'm going to actually cut this square off, um, to cut the layer off before I cut it. But I designed my logo to be about eight inches. Let's see, we're going to do it actually, see what it looks like, eight and a half. So it's going to be eight and a half inches in width and 8.14 in um, height. So then we're just going to center this into the middle and we can actually highlight both of these, I think, and do a line and then do um, center vertically. And then we can do center horizontally and it moves it to the center of both. All right, so now it's like a perfect centered design on my square but I don't need the square so I'm going to turn the square off and I have already applied my vinyl to my mat um, I measured it and cut it and I cut a 10 inch by 10 inch square so my machine is on I'm going to press go and then it's going to tell me to load it wait for the blue light to turn on the air there it goes we press that and then it feeds it into the machine and then we wait for the cricket sign to light up blue and we press go and then it will just start cutting it's finished now we're gonna peel it off of the mat turn this light off a little I might need it in a minute when I start beating, but it's kind of bright in my eye. Oh, snap. All right, did you see that? It was kind of stuck to the mat. All right, so here's the piece. And we are, usually you would, um, if you were doing regular vinyl, you would pull back the big part and um, we the, leave the letters there but for this particular one we're making a stencil so we are going to actually pull the letters back um, the font that I used for this is called love you like a sister and I chose it because it looks kind of vintagey um, kind of looks rustic like what I'm going for with my chicken coop design and you may notice that there's some little tiny pieces in it and that's okay because um, I want those to stay so that it creates kind of like a distressed look. But if some of them come up, that's okay too because I can use some sandpaper at the end whenever I paint it and make it look distressed. So we're just gonna, we're gonna weed the letters out. I can get it off. 
Let's see, this is what we're doing. We're weeding it out and then we're gonna lay the stencil on the board. So just hang tight while I weed. All right, so now it's all weeded out and we just want to get it onto our board. Um, I'm actually going to trim off the bottom and around the side so that I can center it a little bit better. So I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to make the line as straight as possible. And kind of as close to there. Is that I want to make it as close to the edge of the lettering as possible as well. is going to fit onto our square perfectly. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is probably going to be to use contact paper. I know I probably could peel this off, but I'm afraid that some of the little pieces in the corner may um, bend up. So I'm going to actually get some contact paper and transfer it that way. All right, so here is some contact paper. I have a little funky little edge right there so I'm going to cut that off. Alright. So now I'm going to measure this piece out. I kind of want it to be the exact same size. Now I have my piece of contact paper and I'm just going to lay it right over the top right here. Careful not to lay it on the bottom. It's kind of hard to control it because it's kind of big for your hands. Alright. So I'm going to get this. It's okay if the contact, I think it's okay if the contact paper is a little bit wrinkly because that's not really important in this. Usually it would not be okay if you were transferring the vinyl to like a cuff or something like that. But because this is just a stencil and it'll probably lay it down flat anyway, um, we don't really so much have to worry about the bubbles. So now see I have my contact paper st stuck on here and I am going to come down here and I like to take my little dental pick thing and separate the uh, cardboard backing from the vinyl and because it is stuck to the contact paper it's pretty easy to just pull this back ah, it's all one piece all right um, for anybody that's wondering about this contact paper that I used somebody asked me in my last video what it is um it's actually called contact paper and you just get it from the section that's over in housewares and walmart like where the dish towels and stuff are a laundry organization it's where they have all of the shelf liner um and i just buy the clear or white one and you can see through it enough that you can transfer it easily um the cricut transfer tape i've used it it works okay but it's really expensive and you can get this big giant roll um, a contact paper for five dollars whereas this tiny little roll is like eight dollars at um, Hobby Lobby or wherever you find transfer tape. It's pretty expensive compared to this big giant roll for five dollars and I've had this same roll since November and I've done tons and tons of vinyl and not had to buy another roll. Still have half a roll left. Alright so now we're going to take our board and we are going to put our stencil on here. Make sure there's nothing on here any little furs or anything all right okay so try to get it pretty centered it doesn't have to be perfect because i do want it to kind of look old and distressed so if it's a little bit crooked it just gives it a little more character so now you see it's stuck to it we're gonna 
remove the contact paper again this is a good time that your little dental pick comes in handy so you have a little edge there pull it back Okay, so now I don't need this contact paper anymore. All right, so now you can see that it is on my wood. I'm gonna do a little bit of housekeeping because I like to keep my work area nice and clean. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna grab my paints and I am going to do the next step. So. Be right back. I'm going to make sure that all these letters are pushed down because what you don't want to happen is for paint to go up underneath certain parts of the stencil. So I'm going to make sure that especially like around the edges of each letter that everything is pushed down really nicely. All right, so take this paint, shake it up a little bit. I chose this little roller because um, the letters are kind of small and I don't want to go over the edge. I'll have to be really careful around like the edge over here, close to the edge of the letters. finished painting it and the next step will be just letting it dry so kick back relax go have yourself some cereal bowl of ice cream little snack I'm gonna go outside and check on my grill and uh, see how my chicken is coming along not these chickens and then we will check back here in a little bit I let this dry just um, it's only been about 30 minutes, but I think it's dry enough that we can pull the stencil off. Um, what I did was just laid it underneath this fan right here and just let it go. So what I'm gonna do first is peel back the little pieces from like the A's, if there's any O's, I think there's one O, it's a zero. Okay, so just peel these off. They'll, they're the only pieces that need to come off by themselves. Looks like my period got moved a little bit. That's okay. All right. Now the rest should just come off in one piece. So what we're going to do is take the edge and we're going to peel it. picture of it so that's the end of my video um, today we talked about how to create a stencil or a design in Cricut Design Space how to cut it on vinyl how to apply the vinyl to your canvas here that we used um, again I got this at Walmart for 9 dollars 
Um, if you have some old upcycled wood that you have just laying around and you want to make your own hay, that's free. You know, everything that I, else that I used in this project, I had at home. I had the foam roller, I had the um, paint, I had uh, the vinyl. So the only thing I had to pay for was this little piece of wood here, so it was $10. If you have some wood like this laying around, hey, upcycle, free. We're talking about free signs and the possibilities are endless. You can make signs that say so many different things. And these signs are pretty expensive if you were to buy them in like a boutique or an Etsy shop or something like that. So this is just a quick idea how you can do something pretty quickly. Um, it took me altogether probably 30 minutes to do this entire project um, besides when I let it dry, which I let it dry for like 15, 20 minutes. So um, tomorrow I'm going to go outside and hang this on my chicken coop and you guys will get to meet my chickens then.